Denmark is experiencing labor shortage in the market. As a result, the Immigration Department has introduced many ways to attract foreign labor in 2023, especially from third national countries who are not members of European Union. I have mentioned those changes in my previous video and if you haven't watched that I recommend you to watch the video, because you will get a whole picture about what are the opportunities you will be having in Denmark. Hey there, welcome to Global Pal. In today's video I want to tell you about a prominent work visa type in Denmark. This work visa is fast track visa, the speciality of this visa is that, processing time of a work visa is normally one month, but as the name suggests this visa is fast and processed within 10 days. With this visa you can travel in other Schengen countries and stay up to 90 days within a 180 period. Your family can accompany you and family members can study, work or run their own business. Your spouse does not need a separate work permit but, if he or she is going to work in the same company or in a company which interconnected then, the spouse also needs a separate work permit. Working in Denmark continuously for 4 years also gives you the opportunity to apply PR. One more thing is that guys, you can either work in Denmark or outside Denmark with this visa, for example you can work in your home country. This visa is introduced for 5 work visa tracks. They are, the pay limit track, the supplementary pay limit track, the short term track, the researcher track, the educational track. All these visa tracks have common conditions like the company offering your job should be certified by SIRI. The employment terms should not be inferior to Danish standards. For example terms of notice, holiday entitlements etc. should be in par with the Danish standards in your professional field. In some instances you will have to get an authorization from Danish authorities that you have the right skill set for the job. For example if you are a doctor you need to get an authorization from the Danish Patient Safety Authority. There is a list of such professions in the Danish immigration site. The salary payment should come to a bank account in Denmark. If an accompanying family member to you should not have revoked her residence permit more than once due to lack of a required specific work permit. The job must not be covered by a legal labor dispute. You have not received a fine DKK 3000 or more under Danish Crime Act. Let me tell you what are other specific conditions you need to satisfy with each of these five visa tracks. First one, pay limit track. The job offered should be a full-time job covering 37 to 40 working hours per week. You should be getting a minimum annual salary limit of 465,000 Danish kroners. This amount is set for 2023, and this amount can change every year on 1st of January. When it comes to the pay amount Siri only considers 1, the salary paid in cash including fixed allowances to the contribution to pension scheme both by employee and employer. Number 3, Paid Holiday Allowance. As the word cash salary suggests the other perks like free car, paid living and housing, paid phone are not considered when calculating the minimum salary limit. The visa application should be submitted online. Second one, Supplementary Pay Limit Track. The supplementary pay limit amount is 375,000 Danish kroners. If you want the visa under this track you should be getting a minimum annual salary of 375,000 Danish kroners. This should be a full-time job covering 37 to 40 working hours per week. Cash salary and salary requirements are same as pay limit. This job has to advertised on Danish job portals like Jobnet and the ERS portal. In addition to that Denmark has a policy decision that they don't grant work visas for foreign workers if their unemployment rate exceeds 3.75%. Currently the rate is low as 2.8%, meaning you can apply for work visas. Third one. Short term track. The period of visa should be less than 90 days. It can be many times during the year but the combined stay should not exceed 90 days. Fourth one. Researcher track. If you are going to stay 90 days or less as a researcher, scientist or speaker you may not require a visa. However if there is an uncertainty whether the period of stay can be longer than 90 days, you have to have a residence and work permit for the entire stay including first 90 days. You can also work at multiple research institutes and you don't need any other specific permit in that case. Full-time working is not required as a researcher however other terms of employment, salary should not be less than Danish standards. Educational track. 
This scheme is for highly qualified individuals with heavy work experience. The purpose of this visa is to either to receive highly qualified training from the SIRI certified company or to train other employees of the SIRI certified company at a highly qualified level. If I elaborate more the employment in this track will be for highly qualified managers, engineers, source ETC and trainees cannot apply under this track. Let's see what are the cons of work visa in Denmark. In the worst case scenario if you lose your job, you have to inform Siri and the work permit will be revoked because the work permit is granted to work in a specific employer. If you lose your job due to cutbacks for cost cutting or any other reasons which you cannot control and not because of your fault, you will be granted job seeker visa for 6 months. After you find a new job you need to apply for a new work permit. If you want to change the employer you always need to apply for a new work permit. Though you can travel in the Schengen area you are not eligible to work in other countries with this permit. You should apply for a work permit relating to the particular country if you want to work in another Schengen country. The application fee for the fast track visa is DKK 4405 which is equal to Euro 585. How to apply this visa first you need to find a job and the employer will apply this visa on behalf of you. That's all for today I'll see you with another video soon.